Hey, what is up, guys? Oblivious here, bringing you guys another Infinite Warfare video, beta video. Um, today is going to be the best beta class setup to get a nuke because I'm only going to call it the beta class setup because even actually, then though, even though the beta is only going for like maybe a day or two more, might as well make the video now. This is obviously going to be a good class to use actually once the game comes out, but it can definitely be made better by like different things that um you'll see throughout like the like uh, things that are unlocked when the actual game comes out. One thing is going to be huge as you'll see, I believe, in the second clip here. The first clip is me getting on a 15 gun streak and then dying to an eraser and the next one is actually me almost getting a nuclear i think i was like uh i think i got maybe seven like six kills away or something like that and then i ran out of ammo at sat very very sadly but um we're going to be getting into the class right now the class is the fhr which i said was going to be the best gun in the i think i mean there's a, there's a bunch of guns that are actually like all, basically all the guns can, 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 because of all how quickly all the guns kill in the game. Every gun is basically viable. So, like, I don't really know if there's a best gun right now. I mean, obviously, like, the K-Bar is pretty good. The, even, like, I mean, everything. The MV4 is good. The FHR is good. The uh, Vector is good. The Type 2 is good. Every single gun, like, seems pretty good. The Sniper is OP as fuck, which pisses me off. I wish they would make the um, time to kill a little bit, like, uh, quicker. But, um, yeah, with the Snipers, the problem is, like, I guess, like, the, I don't even know, I don't even know what the, the aim assist, maybe, I don't know, the aim down sight speed, everything's crazy about the, the, the longbow or whatever, I hate getting killed by it, but the class setup we're going to be going with is the FHR, um, quick, we want to run quick draw, suppressor, extended mag, and I believe I had rifled barrel on here, I'm not sure exactly why I had rifled barrel on, I mean, it, it, it does increase, like, the, uh, the distance, it's like long barrel, basically, that's basically the exact same thing, um, I use extended mag here, just because I, it has 40 bolts and a clip, this gun shoots really quick, so you might want to have 60. The suppressor, obviously, for obvious reasons, I just want to stay off the mini map, but I'm trying to go for a nuclear. Quick draw, aim in faster, no big deal. And, uh, yeah, I have rifle, rifled barrel on just to, I guess, increase my um, distance when I shoot. Because, obviously, it's an SMG, it doesn't have very long distance, but I, it, c it can be made a lot better when you use rifled barrel. And then, as I said, the one big problem is I don't have scavenger. So the one way I guess you could kind of counterbalance that, which I was not able to do in the second gate, the second clip as you can see but um you can use the merc setup it doesn't really matter what um payload you use but i use like the uh, the bull rush one i think you might see me use it just to, like i use it kind of just to get away if i have to but that's really it i don't really use it to get kills because obviously the, obviously the kills with the bull rusher don't really count towards um the uh nuclear or the deatomizer bombs yes you could say and then but the trait is very important i think it's called man at arms or like man at war or something like that that is very important because it gives you the max ammo your gun has at, as soon as you spawn in or whatever, which is extremely important if you want to actually go for nuclears in the beta because there is no scavenger. So it's the next best thing, I guess you could say, to actually like ha have enough ammo to get the nuclear or the deatomizer. I'm just going to call it a nuclear. I'm sorry. But um, the second clip you'll see, um, even with that, I... Like, there's a few times maybe I could have got more, like, a kill. I, I didn't finish off a kill. Like, I remember there was one guy wall running. I literally put him on, like, absolute one shot, and I didn't kill him. There was, like, two other, like, situations where I probably could have killed a guy where I didn't. And there was a lot of situations where I wasted a lot of ammo just, like, trying to kill someone at long range where I shouldn't have because I didn't know that it would come back to bite me in the ass when I'm six kills away, like, six or seven kills away from a nuclear, and I run out of ammo. And the thing about this game is, like, you have to have all your kills with that gun to get the uh, the atomizer bomb, which is kind of like interesting, I guess. It's kind of weird. I don't know. You'll see me get like two or three kills with the raw, which is like an LMG, but um, that they didn't count towards my nuclear. So I, I ended up actually being like maybe like three or four kills away, I guess you could say, from the deatomizer bomb. But like three or four of them didn't really count because they weren't with the uh, the F FHR 40 Havoc. But um, my perks are ghost, obviously, just stay off the radar. I I traded I kind of traded out dexterity for the rifle barrel, which is like kind of like whatever. It's kind of like preferred to you, whatever you really want, because they both help out a lot in certain situations. My second perk is m uh, momentum, just so you like move quicker and stuff like that. Once you like get on higher kill streaks or like move quicker, I don't remember which one it is, but I think it's when you start like running more, you move quicker. And then the last thing I use is gung ho, just because uh, this game's so fast paced, you're always running and you always want to get the, try to get that first shot off. Like just if you can be hip firing while you're running and then like maybe hit a shot or two that'll just be huge in your gunfight with the fhr because i think it's like a five sh shot kill so if you can hit like two and then you also have quick draw to aim in quicker you should win most of your gunfights if you're hitting your quick your um your uh, hip fires so that's going to be the class um the basically what i want to i guess if you want to try to get this i would say like Frost is a good map that you'll see both of these gameplays I got on because I just like I think I can tr I can control the spawns pretty well 
And then uh, I think the best game mode is Defender for Nuclears. I, I mean, for the Deatomizer Bombs, I would definitely say because they last the longest. I usually get like 70 kills when I play, uh, what's it called, because I don't play Objective at all. Then when I play Defender, I get like like 50 to 70 kills. It's pretty crazy. I got like 89, I think, earlier. I was pretty close to 100, but I didn't end up getting it. And um, yeah, and, but for your score streaks, make sure you only run UAV and Counter UAV because you can't use Advanced UAV in um, the beta. I don't know about PS4 because I know they increased the level cap to like 40 or 50, I assume, and but the Xbox One still the level cap's only 30. So I don't have Scavenger or like Advanced UAVs or anything like that. So I just run UAV Counter UAV. That's it, and so they just like cycle quicker and quicker. So hope you guys enjoyed this class. That if you did, please do like, rate, and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day. I love you. Goodbye.